internal rate of return that is IRR IRR is used in the context of financial budgeting that is capital expenditure so IRR is a financial tool so this tool is used in the context of capital budgeting and capital expenditure decision making capital expenditure is a huge investment it has long term implications that is why it is exposed to many uncertainties hence there is high risk so whenever capital expenditure is made it is of huge amount and it is having long term implications as a result there are many uncertainties hence very high risk financial appraisal of such projects is to be done carefully so the financial tools which are used for appraisal of such projects are called discounting techniques these discounting techniques include net present value and internal rate of return in this video in this lecture we are going to discuss the concept of IRR first of all what is IRR what is definition of IRR internal rate of return that is IRR is a discount rate at which the net present value of cash flows is zero net present value of cash flows is zero so net present value that is NPV it should neither be positive nor it should be negative it should be zero at a particular discount rate when a net present value is zero that discount rate is called internal rate of return now how do we calculate IRR IRR can be calculated manually or it can also be calculated by using MS Excel function so if it is calculated manually then we make use of trial method in this method inflows from the project are discounted at two different discount rates on the basis of which we calculate net present value at two different discount rates and after calculation of net present value then IRR will be calculated by extrapolation so this is manual method the second method is IRR can be calculated by using MS Excel function so here in this lecture we are going to calculate IRR by using both the methods so first we are going to use the <coughs> manual method so as suggested we will discount the cash inflows at two different discount rates so here we have cash outflow shown in negative this is cash inflow of first year this is cash inflow of second year this is cash inflow of third year cash inflow of fourth year cash inflow of fifth year the total cash inflow is 7600 but then we do not require cash flow we require present value of cash flow only then we shall be able to calculate the net present value so here we have taken two discount rates one is 15 percent another is 10 percent here we have the discount value factors 
at 15 percent discount rate so these values have been taken these factors have been taken from discounting value tables or present value tables so here we have taken the present value factors at a 10 percent discount rate again from the net present value tables here we have calculated the present present value at 15 percent here we have calculated the present value at 10 percent so here first year cash flow is 1000 discount factor at 15 percent is 870 so this multiplied by this this is the net present value for second year cash and flow at this discount factor the net present value the present value comes to 907 for third year inflow at this discount factor the present value comes to 1052 for fourth year for this cash and flow at this discount factor the present value comes to double one double four and same way in the fifth year it comes to 895 so this is the initial investment C0 this is present value of cash inflow for the first year so this is C1 this is C2 this is C3 this is C4 this is C5 and the total of this comes to 4868 so in this case the net present value is minus 132 so initial investment is 5000 and present value of a return at 15% is 4868 hence there is negative net present value now we shall see it at 10% discount rate so at 10% discount rate this 1000 multiplied by 9.909 this is the net present value for second year at this discount rate the value comes to 991 for third year cash inflow at this discount rate at this discounted factor this is the value for fourth year with this discount rate this is the value for fifth year at this discount factor this is the value now this is the initial investment and this is present value of cash inflows from first year to fifth year so we add up so this value comes to double five eight five here initial investment was five thousand and present value from cash inflows is a double five eight five this means the net present value is positive five eighty five so at a ten percent discount rate net present value is a positive five eighty five at fifteen percent discount rate the net present value is minus 132 but we need a discount rate where it is not negative it is not positive also it should be zero so at 10 percent it is positive at 15 percent it is minus 132 this means that discount rate must fall within 10 percent 15 percent range so IRR should be within 10 15 percent range now let us calculate IRR by using extrapolation <coughs> so we have taken net present value <coughs> at 10 percent discount rate 585 at 15 percent it is 132 and here is the formula which we shall use to calculate net present value so IRR is equal to lower discount rate it should not be NPV at it should be lower discount rate so lower discount rate is 10 percent plus difference between two discount rates so between two discount rates the difference is 5 percent so this is a lower discount rate plus difference between two discount rates then net present value at lower discount rate so at lower discount rate net present value is 585 so we place the value here divided by absolute difference between net present value at two discount rates so absolute difference will be sum total of these two because here one is a positive data another is negative data hence 
to find the difference the total of these two is the difference so this difference is 717 now we shall make the calculation so 10% plus 5% and this gives the value 0.816 if we multiply this with 5% this is the value and this is the internal rate of return so internal rate of return is 14.08 or we can say 14% so that is how we can cal calculate irr with manual method now if we discount the cash inflows at 14% the net present value will be equal to 0 now we shall make the same calculation by using ms excel function so we shall open ms excel and when we open ms excel this spreadsheet will appear in this spreadsheet we shall place the same data so minus 5000 that was the investment then first year inflow 1000 second year inflow 1200 third year inflow 1600 fourth year inflow 2000 and fifth year inflow 1800 so we shall place this data in the spreadsheet then we shall highlight a column where we want to show the calculation so we shall highlight this column to show the calculation thereafter we will go to insert so this is insert within insert we shall go to function and once we go to function we will have a dialog box so this is the dialog box that will open in this dialog box we shall choose we shall select irr so we have selected irr then enter okay and once we select irr and enter okay this dialog box will open in this dialog box we shall insert the value which we have given here so here these values can be inserted by giving a reference to the column numbers and row numbers these are row numbers and these are the column numbers so here we have given b3 up to b8 so this is b column b3 up to b8 so we have given the references here so these values are automatically inserted here and automatically we get the irr so this is the answer so here we have got 0.13996 that is 14% so here in this case also the irr is 14% so in the previous sheet we had calculated irr by using manual method so there also it was 14% it is very easy to calculate irr by using msl function excel function so that is how we can calculate irr thank you friends for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and you have been benefited. Thank you once again.